Hello, we are live. Hello, now. hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we, we will talk about the communism in the movies in the science fiction movies and but uh, maybe firstly uh, frank uh, could you present yourself who you are uh hi my name is frank myong i'm half bulgarian half polish um a uh, filmmaker i can say that and i also um, uh, do Uh, I'm a uh, designer in an advertising agency and also do a lot of other stuff, creative stuff. But, you know, some of uh, some of the, the things I do uh, give me money and some not. <laughs> Most of them not. I mean, I'm doing it just for the fun of uh, doing it. <clears throat> okay, so my first question, it is... Uh, uh, I will I will start it by the uh, anti-communist propaganda which we can uh, find in the uh, Polish uh, Polish right media when they said that uh, in Hollywood and especially in Netflix there are many productions w which are leftist or um, uh, communist and they attacked Netflix and um, and all these all these Uh, f filmography which is made in USA that it is it is propaganda of the communist society what do you think about this this what we can see coming from hollywood uh, comes in two ways uh, in movies and in television right now uh, the television is much more it's much is much stronger because uh, you can see a movie which is uh, 10 hours long or 12 hours long or some 24 hours long. So this is a lot of time of presenting of some kind of content which will be included in this uh, opera. You know, as the, the old, the old uh, term for that was, uh, you know, opera or series. Uh, uh, and um, uh, because um, creation and production of uh, TV and movies became cheaper comparing to 25 years ago, uh, it became very, you know, easy to make a movie or, or whatever feature you can imagine. And uh, if uh, talking about fantasy and science fiction, there are two, uh, two uh, roads that can, you know, that uh, can, uh, that they show us. The first is... Uh, Totally, total libertarianism, which is close to uh, socialism, which is in the very distant science fiction movies like Star Trek, for example, or uh, but Star Wars. Star Wars is not uh, is, has not communist ideas, but sometimes you can you can read also. Uh, very close uh, expressions, like you know, like some kind of a communism or some kind of uh, people or some some distant, I don't know, planet which has different rules than the others. Uh, it could be also, you know, smuggled in this in this uh, narrative. But also the other uh, the other way, the other um, path of uh, showing uh, alternative realities is horror movies. So for me, the horror movies are usually connected to the church, to the beliefs. And for example, if you, if you have this uh, old stuff of all kind of uh, vampires, werewolves, uh, witches, Uh, and stuff they can be, you know, they can be only overcome uh, with the power of faith. Because, you know, there is this main character, which is a preacher or I don't know, who believes in God. And, you know, by God's will, he expels the bad spirits and the evil characters from the, you know, from the scene. Uh, but the other way, which is the, you know, the, the first I mentioned, uh, has its roots... Uh, maybe in the 20s or even in the 30s, because, you know, as you don't, uh, do you know, but that the first popular science fiction um, uh, or fantasy uh, poem was uh, by Jules Verne. I don't remember exactly the title, 20,000 verse to the 
core of the earth or something like that, you know. Uh, and uh, But he also, I think, wrote something about the moon, so going to the moon and stuff. But, uh, you know, the creator of Star Trek has very interesting history because he comes from Texas and he was a pilot during the Second World War. And I think um, he was very um, curious about all other stuff because, you know, I don't know, did you ever heard about the Manhattan Project? which was, uh, you know, the 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 bomb, the the H bomb. But there is another, I forgot right now the name. I'm so, I'm very sorry. But there was um, also a um, secret theory about the uh, ship that disappeared, that was teleported from one place to another. And apparently it was uh, real, but, you know, it lef left, uh, you know, uh, traces of human beings and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. This is not so that important. What is important is that in Star Trek, uh, we can see a world without money. That, you know, money does not exist. Uh, if they are making uh, some, uh, I mean, uh, if they are trading with some other species and other cultures, they're using uh, goods, you know, they're proposing goods. And, you know, for these goods, they're giving, they're, you know, receiving other goods. And this uh, couldn't be uh, possible with the technology that they possess. And, uh, 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 you know, the source of that power that... Uh, uh, in, that is empowering this, this technology is called dilithium. This is crystals, you know, which are, you know, um, which are involved in a reaction and the reaction is given, you know, the, the, the ultimate power to the replicators. And actually the, repli the, the replicators are the universal uh, source of any kind of goods because it can replicate, uh, as the name say, everything that you can imagine. Food, clothes, uh, parts, everything. Something, it is uh, some kind of a uh, uh, hybrid of 3D printer and uh, uh, and uh, real printer, I don't know, and uh, laser printer, you know. Uh, from these replicators, you can, you can extract everything that you can imagine and which is previously programmed uh, as, uh, you know, uh, in them. And also in the latest uh, series, which are uh, Star Trek uh, Discovery, uh, because, you know, they uh, went from this point, which is 25th century, somewhere in the 20, between 24th and 25th, they were thrown in the far future in the uh, 900 uh, years further. So uh, there was... Um, uh, another another term was introduced, which is a programmable matter. So, you know, you can create any kind of ships and stuff with this programmable matter. It is, you know, it is advanced fantasy, but um, uh, this shows that people can coexist in perfect harmony in a world without money. I mean, this series. And uh, they began emitting it in the early, in the late 60s. Uh, 68 or something like that was the first uh, series, you know, uh, the premiere of the first uh, series. And they made a whole universe uh, which in involved some, you know, uh, theater movies, a big, a lot of theater movies, a lot of TV series. It was, uh, you know, it's a, it's a huge thing. Uh, and this is a world created, uh, you know, uh, uh, it, it shows actually a perfect world without money. Of course, there is a hierarchy uh, in the Starfleet, but um, this character, I mean, uh, everybody can become something more. If he learned, uh, if he studied, he will, you know, he can upgrade himself if he, if he wishes to. So this is very liberal and very utopic, you know, this is probably uh, the perfect example for a future communist uh, society. <laughs> okay, so I would like to ask you about how it is possible that this series was made in USA because uh, I heard about uh, in uh, situation in 1950s when the Joseph McCarthy yeah. he he the witch he, hunters. Yes, which okay. uh, he, he, he hunt a lot of lefties from the Hollywood 
um, there are. Um, I, I saw a movie about one scenarist. I forget his name. Who was Was a scenarist for the Spartacus movie, and he, he, he you know what I am. Yeah, I know the Spartacus movie, of course, with uh, yes, yes. And this, this guy scenarist... who died recently. You know, with the he, he, father he made... of uh, Michael Douglas. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, this scenarist, um, he, he, he wrote scenarists in in uh, not in his real name, and in and he he took. Uh, two times uh, Oscar awards, mm -hmm. but uh, he he was persecuted um, because he was a member of Communist Party. But in the same time, he will, he, he, uh, it is very, very interesting movie. Maybe I will, I will find a, a title. Uh, but how it is possible that the, 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 the in the USA, these movies, uh, when the USA have a cold war with the Union, uh, Soviet Union, and in the mm -hmm. same time, uh, they didn't know that that Star, the Star Trek is about communism. After the Second World War, uh, uh, you know, uh, the American society went back to the traditional values before the war. I mean, there was an attempt to go back to the traditional uh, uh, values uh, that uh, were respected uh, before the war. And of course, uh, there was also an ambitious plan to have, you know, every family to have a car and every family to have home. So that's for uh, the growth of this uh, uh, peripheral uh, households, you know, uh, around the big cities, became very, very, and extremely popular uh, because they were they were meant for the uh, uh, middle class people, and um, you know, uh, also the society gained. Uh, more economical stability, and I think much more than uh, the, than people had back in Europe, because you know, uh, for example, Great Britain was going through a big crisis, and Germany, and of course France, and uh, more more or less all uh, European states were going you know going through a very hard phase, that because they were rebuilding what was crushed during the war, but America, the United States actually uh, only generated profits, uh, you know, from that. Because, you know, they were also, of course, they were given the credits and everything was paid in dollars, in US dollars. So they had the money, they had the time and they had the people. But these people were not, you know, had enough um, feeding uh, you know, with propaganda, because you know they started immediately the this uh, uh, far right propaganda after the Second World War, and you know this they uh, tried to uh, implement this model, this raw model of uh, you know the perfect family that the woman is stays at home and woman is not working, woman is not educated, but they made a big mistake because during the Second World War they were uh, they gave too many rights to the women and the women became educated and they became, became uh, uh, you know, they started their professional careers and stuff and stuff. In the 50s, I think um, um, uh, there were a lot of secretaries, which was, you know, the first choice for a woman to work. And, and you know, I will not go there, but, you know, the most important thing that in these conditions, uh, 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 a lot of free-minded people uh, had something to say, were born, and one of them is uh, this is Allen Ginsberg, who wrote the poem Whole, which became uh, a flag poem of the Beat Generation, and uh, uh, you know because it showed that uh, you can actually oppose uh, the general model, you can actually you know go against the current. And you can uh, uh, think freely. So I think also, ah, and if, and of course after that, the product of that is the flower revolution or the hippie revolution in uh, 1968. And if you uh, now make the connection, actually at the same time Star Trek was uh, released. You know, at the, the exact same time, it was the second half of the 60s. So it, it came perfectly, it matched perfectly the overall 
movement and overall, you know, uh, philosophy of the young generation of the United States. So, uh, you know, in order to became to to make some kind of a progress, not only economical but also philosophical and you know, uh, generation progress, they had to. Uh, you know, to uh, to get to calm down, you know, the whole the whole propaganda thing. But the same thing happened in the uh, SSSR, you know, with the Brezhnev rule. So you know, the, the same thing because the golden time of communism is actually between the end of the 60s and uh, until I think uh, 1981 or 82, the, just you know, a couple of years before the perestroika. So uh, the the, th the the two things happened parallel, you know, at the same almost almost at the same time, you know, in the seventies. So this was a golden era of you know stuff like that. So that's for it became possible, and that's for uh, it has no censorship over it, you know, because you know actually, I think in the sixties the uh, the uh, witch hunt uh, was over. You know, because they they saw that you know this is uh, dead end, that they had to change their tactics in order you know society to become confident in and you know, and to fit into the general rules. <clears throat> okay, um, in the Marxist theory, we have uh, an analysis of the history that the history is the uh, we have many many stadium of the history in, and we have feudalism after capitalism mm -hmm. after socialism after communism and it depends the, that our possibility of the means of production but uh, and uh, in star trek movies we 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 see this uh, soci society uh, very high tech technology and it is possible to construct the communist society. But um, in the Hollywood movies, we can find also that uh, society which existed before, before class society, we can find the primitive communism. Uh, all these all this, uh, post-apocalyptic uh, series. Mm -hmm. Um, I uh, I watched many many seasons of the series Walking Dead, but this uh, this uh, scenario we can find also in other post apocalyptic movies. Always there are uh, catastrophe. Uh, the model is, I mean the model is the same everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. yes that, that, that they are big big catastrophe, virus, uh, nuclear war, or something like that. And after they they arrest uh, 100 people uh, and they try to organize new society and mm -hmm. in this new society they they work they fight they make the, all this activity but without money <laughs> yeah 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 well uh, uh, you know uh, boyan mentioned uh, in one of the last uh, auditions that you know marx were, was talking about the uh, primal commune which was yes, uh, exactly. you know uh, the same i mean which was uh, <clears throat> In the primitive societies, like you know, the the prehistorian people, that the, that they were in the tribes uh, of the pre prehistory, that they were organized uh, around you know, one village. They had fire. They had they were hunters. Later, they became ag ag agriculture. They they became to um, uh, to plant and you know and to seed uh, plants and then to harvest them. Uh, you know, the, the, they became technological. So, but still with, without money, right? Uh, you know, the, the, uh, they traded, uh, you know, goods for goods, and not uh, for money. But money became, I think, um, popular. You know, of course, uh, Bulgarians will say that, you know, one of the first cities uh, which used money is in Bulgaria. The, the Israel people will say that it was in Israel. The Greek will say it was in Greece, you know. The Egyptians will say it was in Egypt. But, you know, the general idea behind money is the ego. You know, the ego, which is actually one of the main um, powers in the Kabbalah. 
because you know they are talking there about the heart sutra which is in sutra of course this is the terminology from uh, the Ved the hindu Veda vedas uh, but it surrounds only uh, um, uh, around the love of profit of generating the profit because you know to be a rich person and to have a lot of money that you will not use, you know, even your children will not use, even your grandchildren will not use to survive because you don't need them to survive. You know, or one person does not need, for example, one billion dollars, you know, uh, but, you know, the, 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 uh, the urge of generating that amount of money and to become the most prominent, it's a pure ego. So I would say for me, of course, that is my own opinion, not, you know, my intuition. So uh, I think um, uh, that I can say that, you know, the, the, the general explanation for capitalism is also for the feudalism is uh, the ego. When person creates an ego, uh, becomes, you know... Uh, I don't know uh, what is ego. Ego, ego. Ah, ego ego. ego. Egoism. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you are becoming an extremely, you know, egoistic person, you know, yes. self, uh, you know, orientated. So this is the philosophy behind the uh, capitalism. <clears throat> yes, but... Actually, not behind the capitalism, but because, you know, when you have this, um, uh, this society, which is, you know, business society, uh, you have this small business and you are investing in, uh, you know, in technology or invest in, in uh, for right now, what I do, for example, uh, I have to have money for a new computer. I have to have money for a new camera, for a new microphone, for new earphones, which are, you know, good levels because I need a good level microphone, but I need the money. So if I need the money, I have to generate them, right? So I am generating the money by doing, you know, selling goods, which, are, which could be creative goods, which could be, you know, uh, but, you know, there are these people which create big amounts of money and they have other needs, you know, and they use other tools to receive that. I, I think I'm afraid to say what kind of tools, maybe not now. What what do you think about these movies? Movies which uh, uh, movies about the our future, like Star Trek, or movies like the pr primitive communism, like Walking Dead. That uh, in in the Walking Dead society we can find the hunter gatherer society. The people they are artisans, they are agriculture, mm -hmm. they are hunters, they are soldiers. But I didn't find there uh, people who work in the advertisement. Uh, <laughs> and also I didn't find this in 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 in, in Star Trek. So, mm, well, think? actually, in Star Trek, let me think. Uh, but you will find, you know, people, you know, skilled in that way. Because, you know, actually what I do is, uh, I can say I'm an artisan. I'm an artist, you know. Because, you know, uh, selling something is, you know, uh, is... Um, you have to be very creative to sell something, right? To, to, to create this um, package of you know good looking product right uh and it is uh because you know i you know people people who do advertisement who do you know there uh, we actually uh, have intuition in many ways because we have to know what the market needs what uh, what are the latest uh, styles you know we have to observe that uh, also in music because very very often um, i for example me i'm doing uh, you know like signals for auditions and stuff so i have to you know my ear has to know and to learn which trend is the best or which music will fit uh the best to 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 you know uh concrete product to you know to to select to the selected product it is uh, actually very responsible um you know uh, task to do yes, yes yes i understand it is it is very responsible uh, but uh, yes uh, but referring to this what you yeah. asked yes of course because you know for example if you do a campaign 
like being a captain of a ship, right? Like in Star Trek, and you do a campaign. So uh, you you need good PR. So you are choosing the people in this campaign who will make your PR, who will be the best for this job. So you is you can see it all over the you know the series in every practically in every episode you can see that. So this is also advertisement, right? And before that, I don't know, you know the Ferengi, right? What? The Ferengi, Ferengi from the Star Trek Deep, deep Space Nine. Uh, no, 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 I, I don't know very good this. this Ferengi this. are, you know, with big ears and, you know, with, mm. you know, with, uh, Ferengi, this is a race in the Star mm. Trek. So their philosophy is, you know, uh, they call it, uh, oh my God, I forgot, I forgot. It. They, you know, for them, the philosophy is the, the biggest prophet, I mean, the biggest god in their culture is the prophet. Like the profit, I mean, from collecting money, from, you know, selling goods and stuff and collecting money. And the value is called Latinum. So, you know, for them, uh, they can do, uh, they, their lifestyle is uh, actually uh, built around this profit, you know, the, the, uh, the philosophy of the profit. And for example, if you take another race, the Vulcans, they're highly philosophical. They are not so very interested in values. I mean, like, you know, like sales and uh, goods that you can, you know, receive and actually you can collect and you can held in your hand. They're actually more oriented into philosophy and, uh, you know, and um, poet poetry and, you know, also some kind of meditation. So, you know, uh, I think in people also we have different type of people because we are not everybody the same. I mean, we were born the same. We are born the same, you know, uh, everybody, but actually we evolved during the during our lives. And, uh, you know, we receive different roles uh, in, uh, you know, according to this, what we uh, dream about to become. I think yes, this yes, will, yes, you but know. My question is practical question. When I go to the shopping mall, and I find uh, I want to buy uh, milk, and I I I I, I find uh, twenty different bottle of the milk uh, with different etiquettes. For me, it is stupid, and all this uh, uh, all this game which I I buy, it's because this bottle, uh, this company, uh, are, are the better the the better advertisement the better marketing and many money are losing for this uh, and usually and 20% of the <laughs> yes yes and, and for me society who, uh, we need we need advertisement is, is stupid we, well we need because you know otherwise uh, you will not have uh, you know uh, success without advertisement in nowadays you know where everything yes is, yes yes yeah. today yes so but... in, or, in order to exist as a uh, brand you need advertisement because for example you, you know you can produce uh, one ton of milk and you can put it in a store but for example, if you uh, if you keep it in cans or in uh, buckets, you know what bucket is. <laughs> Nobody will actually will buy it. But if you put a nice etiquette which say you know fresh milk, fresh milk, fresh milk from a cow, from a village cow, you know meal for example Paris, and you know uh, no GMO fresh milk uh, straight from the cow, so people will buy it. Even if the price is, I don't know, 10 euro per liter, you know. Yes, so yes, yes. Our but, uh, advertisement. So I, I think we need that... them in order to survive. Actually, I think in <clears throat> communist times, if you remember, there were also there was also advertisement. It was not the same as now. We have it in the so-called capitalist society, but it was it existed, you know. Yes, yes, but people drunk a milk always. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and they but it was uh, it, in they Western didn't Europe advertisement for this. But in Western Europe, it was also the same thing. You know, it was like kind of a national capital. Nobody thought that you know. Actually, water also. You know, because you know the French people, the first who bottled water. I think the, it was uh, I think uh, a Parisian company that uh, bottled the water, and, and uh, you know because nobody actually have the rights 
to bottle a water and to sell it over for, I don't know, for a bigger price. This is, uh, I don't know, maybe if this is a mineral water, some, you know, with some kind of a thermal water with some special, I don't know, um, um, ingredients like, I don't know, high calcium or high potassium or stuff. Yes, I would agree then, but not a simple tap water, which are, you know, it is sold like a drinking water. This is, I don't know. I don't, I can't understand it. And also, if you say, you know, connecting to this, what you say, uh, if you remember, our grandfathers and our grand grandfathers were building electricity, uh, the electricity net in our in Eastern Europe, in Poland, in Hungary, in Bulgaria, everywhere. Uh, you know, the states were building these nets, you know, of cables and stuff of electricity. And uh, I remember my grandmother was uh, telling me, or somebody else told me that. You know, uh, back in the 40s, I think, you know, or in the 30s, people were given metal, <clears throat> you know, like copper for this uh, cables, you know, for the electricity. You know, they were offering copper from their homes, from their households to the, you know, to the state to build this network. And now, what happened now, uh, like two, 10 years ago, you know, the state sold this electricity network to private companies. And I think this is what are you interested in? Because, you know, this is, I think, a simple, simple, I don't know, a, uh, felony. I mean, you know, they stole, stole it from people, from the people. And also the same stuff with the water, because right now we have, you know, one part of Poland is one company, the other part of Poland is another company. <clears throat> the same thing happened with water, with the resources. resources, And also, which is, you know, for me, must shocking and must stupid, with the waste. Because the waste is the biggest, I don't know, mafia, uh, um, uh, mafia, Oh, I forgot the word now. Deal. Oh, this is the biggest mafia deal in today's history, the waste business. You know, because it was uh, also held uh, by the state. I mean, it was uh, owned by the state. Each city in uh, Eastern Europe has its uh, own waste, uh, you know, system. You know, with, with a truck came and, you know, a truck load the, uh, the the trash can and then it went to the collection collecting collection uh, camp of if i can say that but you know i think um, uh, the crash happened after 2018 when china stopped uh, accepting trash from other countries and also in india i think so yes, they yes, had I... to find another way which is much more expensive you know I can I can uh, say an example of the France where they build the uh, auto routes and mm -hmm. after they pr privatize this and it's very uh, very expensive today. Uh, but uh, I would like to ask you also about uh, because we can find in this Hollywood movies the society without money, but mm -hmm. we can find also the. Uh, the movies about revolution so mm -hmm. how to how to build this how to build this what, society mm -hmm. what uh, what movies with revolution you 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 know well <laughs> matrix revolution <laughs> for example you, it is in the title the matrix revolution now well you know actually i think very well the you know the matrix and what's happening in it, that the whole humanity was uh, encapsulated in this big machines that was, was created by the uh, AI, that means artificial intelligence machines, which evolved from people. So actually, you know, uh, in terms of philosophy, uh, the creator got uh, encapsulated of these machines, you know, because they gain, you know, uh, own their own consciousness and they encapsulated and they, uh, you know, uh, slaved the whole humanity and um, turned the role to the humanity to a battery. So, you know, uh, every person was in a cocoon uh, and was living in some kind of projection, projection, which is not the real world, but in some, 
imaginative, imaginative world. In well, in this movie, it was the ages, and you know, uh, and this is it. The whole humanity was enslaved. But uh, you know, in order to have revolution, you need resistance. So in this movies, because you know, enslaved nobody from the enslaved persons had has no chance to escape from this reality because you know the whole process of living from uh, a baby to you know an adult to the death is actually in a closed circuit you cannot escape from this circuit so you need another force to break the chains you know to break the, the cycle to in order to gain you know to make revolution so uh in this case in the matrix case uh, the resistance was uh, uh, beneath the surface of the earth, there was this free city which was called Zion. Of course, Zion is a very symbolic name because Zion, you can find it in the Bible. You know, the city of Zion actually, uh, Bob, um, not Bob Marley, Bob Marley was one of the, you know, well, he was uh, higher like Zion, like, higher like lions in Zion. So, you know, this is very symbolic. Actually, everything that you can see in Hollywood movies and in art is symbolic and is connected to other things, you know. So we have to be a good uh, observer and good, um, uh, I don't know, you have to, to have this knowledge of uh, uh, art history to be able to read these hidden messages in the, you know, in the, in the uh, story, in the narrative. And... Um, uh, of course, you know, they had this uh, resistance that came and discovered the prophet, you know, the person with... Uh, with uh, no, wait, you know, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I, I think which interests me, it is mm -hmm. these people who organize this resistance. Because uh, uh, I remember from this film uh, two history. One history, it is the one traitor who who didn't one, want one story one what one traitor uh, traitor. Ah, traitor okay yeah, yeah. traitor uh, he he trade uh, he, he he betrayed the somebody yes, from remember, this yeah. resistance and after this he wanted from this uh, agent jones or agents uh, yeah I, he wanted beef he, he, he wanted to erase his memory Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that, yes. yes. He uh -huh. wants to erase his memory, to, to live in this consumer society and be, be happy. And, and this job which you made with Boyan, uh, all this, uh, when you speak about the society, capitalist society, all these problems, we... Uh, you know, it's not very popular. All the time you you plain that, that, that it's not good, it's it's exploitation, the government is not good and stuff like this. And, but people don't want to listen to this. They, they prefer this... Uh, um, you mean that they want revolution? People want revolution. Is that no, what no, you mean? No, no, don't, don't want don't want mm -hmm. because uh, because this is what what we see in this uh, in this film matrix that when they first time they speak with neo and he uh, and he uh, awake himself and he saw this uh, reality uh, this uh, this this world without uh, sun without uh, without mm -hmm. plants uh, very very ugly world uh, he was not happy <laughs> Mm -hmm. And for him, it was it was shock that he uh, all his life he he, he lived in this uh, in this bubble that uh, the uh, consumer society of the United States uh, in the late uh, yes yes and uh, after when he, one time when you when you wake up and you see other reality it's uh, it's you can you, you can not go to there is no go to return and it is why i think it's very very 
difficult for this resistance uh, build this resistance because there are many many people in these capsules uh, these batteries but they only choose the mm, elite yeah. elite so <clears throat> because you know uh i think the answer to your question is very simple because they are not aware of what they can gain you know because they're not aware of the possible future that is for so ex exactly this is uh, i think our role with buyan to show them uh what is the true narrative of the media and the true uh the, we, we can you know project uh, we can create you know we can show what the possible future can be you know some kind a little bit of a propaganda but you know a bit of a bit of uh, advertisement the and uh this is it actually this is our role and yours also i think <laughs> yes yes but also in this matrix movie we find all these uh, uh, police politic who search this resistance and kill them yeah, and, yeah but uh, we, are, we have the same thing you know when you open you know for example TikTok or, or every other you know social media program you will see this kind uh, you know the trolls and uh, do my observations the troll attacks became much more efficient and much more frequent uh with this government that, that we have now in poland because you know they got paid for that you see oh, okay i don't want uh, so, you know this this trolls can be uh you know uh could be equalized to the you know to the agent smith and you know to the programs which are fighting against the resistance in the uh, matrix yes I, I like the matrix movies but uh, this vision of the revolution that we have to uh, wait for the prophet i don't like it uh, but there are other films when we saw th that uh, the revolution it is not the task of one general person but uh, the the uh, yes mm -hmm. the people so do you know other movies when we have this revolution or like a mass movement um can you do you know I mean, can uh, you have... yes yes uh, there are this igrzyska śmierci ah okay okay uh, it was how it, it was in english games of uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh the death no some kind of a game but i don't remember the title uh, i will find check it Games, 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 games. Hunter yeah, because games. Hunger, Hunter games, right? Hunter games, okay. okay. Uh, but you know what? I will tell you something else, can I? Uh, before that, before, yes, I yes. Answer, before I will answer this question. You know, in every religion, uh, there is a promise of a future prophet. In Christianity, there is a, you know, promise for the new Christ, uh, Christ, which will come in the new era. In Buddhism, there is, uh, you know, promise of the Maitreya, which will be the future Buddha. Uh, and also, uh, I think in Hinduism, uh, they will wait for the next, uh, you know, avatar of the main gods, which are, you know, Vishnu, Shiva, Brahma. And uh, also, I think all over the world, uh, in this religions and religion movements, uh, they are waiting for the new prophet, for the new messiah. Uh, but, uh, you know, what if this messiah already came and uh, is not one person, but a group of person, of people? So, you know, uh, actually, in, um, you know, in all over in other movies, you know, you can say that, that you know, this, this is not one person that is, you know, because, for example, for us, I mean, for people who was grow, who grow up in uh, the Christian tradition, you know, uh, we are used to the idea of one God, you know, which is almighty and which is uh, anthropomorphic. That means that it looks like an old, uh, you know, person, like an old guy with big beard and stuff. But actually, 
in other religion is not like that you know for example the hindu gods are not you know um, the almighty gods they are only representative of the brahman which is the universe you know that that it means that we are all exist in the universe and the, the gods are only the avatars of this universe only the representatives the ambassadors of this uh, you know uh, eternal universe so you know uh, this is a philosophical ideas which are actually also which were actually also impl implemented in the movies in uh, hollywood so uh, and also there is another theory which is called the gestalt theory i don't know did you ever heard about that uh, this means that every people every uh, person uh, uh, put in the same conditions will react uh, more or less the same. For example, if you are beaten, you will, I don't know, first you will be shocked and you will, you know, uh, uh, you will uh, protect yourself, you know, like physically. Then you will think you will create another theory, another strategy, how to escape this. And you will create, uh, you know, another way of escaping this, uh, you know, this aggression. Uh, and then if you are put somewhere in the in a room in a closed uh, space the first uh, thing that you will think is how to escape so uh, you know this is called the gestalt uh, you know philosophy and it means that um, i mean in most simple words that you know people are thinking more or less the same and this is also used in all over you know advertisement this because you know when you create something you presume that people who are watching will act I mean will react to this what you are presenting the same way so this is only also one of the key elements of a revolution that you need followers to do that and to gain you know mass so you know and also this is one of the ways of making uh, advertisement and commercials you know uh, so yes it was in this um, games uh, they had this group right which uh, actually also uh, they had enough of this uh, glory you know glorious life which is uh, you know the 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 beginning the idea of that is of course the the um, Colosseum fights in Rome because you know this is one of the documented things or maybe even before that you know the spartan uh, Olymp olympian uh, you know uh, fights in greece in ancient greece and before that you know other stuff but you know it has deep roots in the history so people know how to react because they already heard about that and they know that for example if you have this uh, urge of being uh, you know uh, rich people, rich people with, with huge ego to be distracted. So, you know, you have to react and, you know, you have to protect yourself. You have to protect your uh, companies in order to survive, you know. I know. So, um, so what? Uh, and let's talk about revolution because you, you say that, 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 uh, revolution needs the followers and needs yes. advertising and uh, do you think that uh, to because when we uh, when we think about this uh, hunger games movies mm -hmm. we have the situation similar to our reality today that we are people like jeff bezos who are very very rich and we are people who are very very poor and now how to uh, how to change it well uh, it is very complicated because you know these people which are right now in this one percent as they say you know uh, the anonymous movement say actually, actually did you see uh, mr robot which is also mm. a very good series you can you should see it uh, and ah, you know, Mr. Robot, it's uh, one guy, a computer genius who is going against, you know, he has visions of his father and he's fighting the system also, the corporate system. Uh, this, uh, this guy, he, he was uh, playing uh, Freddie Mercury in other. Yes, 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 exactly. Yes. Ah, yes, I, I, I watched one episode, but uh, 
me and my wife uh, we decided that like, it was boring <laughs> okay but you know it's it's very deep deep it's very deep you have maybe you were you know because you were uh, young parents now maybe you were you know you were thinking differently then but it's very deep actually you know because uh, it shows a lot of things uh, you know a lot of faces of the reality of the corporate uh, corporate society the society which is involved in corporations you know what it will be very difficult and i will tell you why because people who are the one percent are always two steps ahead because they have the resources they have the uh, knowledge they have the secret knowledge they have the you know the informers which are giving them tips you know like you know they have the traitors on their side because you know they have the money they have the goods but this would this could only crash if some kind of disaster will happen for example we, right now we have we are on the precipice you know on the edge of a precipice on the uh, on the edge of a disaster i mean you know of course this is a perfect scenario for how to gain more money for one one uh, half of the society and how to become more poor for the other half of the society because you know now after you know five, a couple of years a lot of people will become poor more poor than it than, than there are now and this is you know the biggest i don't know the biggest um uh problem with the COVID. And uh, uh, so we need some kind of uh, because it, it will eventually it will happen because, you know, uh, right now we have this um, uh, overproduction of uh, plastic, which is uh, pollu polluting the uh, earth, the atmosphere. We have gaining uh, a lot of people are becoming, you know, uh, in 2050, there will be about 9 billion people on the earth. And most of them will starve, you know, in the poor countries, not in the rich countries, but in the poor, poor countries. On the other side, we have, you know, Americas and, you know, North, and, North America, Canada, uh, Europe. Uh, actually, America is the biggest consumer in the world because, you know, they are over consuming. They're consuming for two Earths, you know, to be, you know, just to, to live in their standards. So the ego should be shrinked to in uh, in order you know everything to become harmonious again in the on earth. But you know in order to crack the system, you need some kind of a catastrophe, a global catastrophe, because otherwise we have no chance. Because you know there will be always couple of uh, you know of uh, steps ahead. And they have weapons, they have everything. They have computers, I mean, computer systems. The system works on their side. Only, you know, uh, like, it, like it is right now, only hackers and, you know, people who are, you know, who know the back doors of the system can act exactly like in the Matrix, you know, to, in order, you know, you know, in order to gain, you know, like people like Snowden, for example, people like, uh, uh, how was this Australian called with WikiLeaks from WikiLeaks? Uh, uh, Julian Assange. Assange, yeah. So, you know, this is for now the possible future. Maybe if one of the states for like China or like Russia, one of the big major, or like India, major, you know, uh, countries will decide to break up the system something has a chance to happen you know to change because you know eventually it will change uh, maybe in the next 30 years maybe in the next 50 years but eventually you know the the the, the this model that we have now will change because you know uh, the uh, it, uh, the the energy sources will be depleted uh, there will be need for new sources actually great britain right now is working on fusion reactor I don't know, are you aware of that? Because, you know, after the break, they started, you know, they work on fusion reactor, which means that they will have much cheaper energy, electric energy in the nearest future, maybe in 10 years term. So Europe, I think, also is working on that. So, you know, the energy sources are very, are very, very uh, needed. You know. <laughs> so, so I can tell you, maybe next time if you 
you know, if you ask, I can, you know, think about it more and to, to find some, I don't know, some kind of researches and stuff. Okay, because I am interesting <laughs> in the, yeah. I am interesting in the in the answer uh, that in fifteen year, in fifty years, yeah. I think that uh, we will dead me and you so we need the revolution no. uh, a little uh, faster you don't know that yes yes but uh, you don't know that because you know first of all we right now the technology knows the key to how to prolong our lives you know we have the genetic technology which can introduce the genes to our systems the, the, it will work like viruses. So it's, it's possible actually right now to the, in theory, but it's very possible that in the nearest future, it will be possible. Actually this vaccine with right now, the COVID vaccine is uh, uh, synthetic DNA. Actually it was created, you know, the, the, the antibodies. Actually it's fragmented. There are two ways of uh, introducing the vaccine. One way is one technology is to introduce fragments of the DNA, of the RNA of the virus and the other is to uh, you know to apply uh, uh, antibodies which are you know chemical mm, molecules uh, produced by cells okay okay thank you so we have the technology but you know we'll see maybe in the nearest future it will be possible well uh, it will be possible but when exactly we don't know uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, I hope that uh, we will find the, the solution a little faster than this which you yes. proposed, because 50 years is, is a lot of time. No, no, I think it will happen faster, but you know, we don't know, we cannot predict. We don't, we don't have the uh, information, you know, because uh, we don't plan because we don't have plan for that, you know, because the economy is not planned and, uh, as uh, it was in the 70s, you know, in the communist era. So we don't know what will happen in the next year. We don't know what will happen to, uh, in five years. We can only, you know, our intuition can tell us. But we don't know what are they, you know, this 1%, or what are they planning for now? You know, there is this um, theory of... Um, uh, digital feudalism that we are actually slaves to the capital and it is right now it is real i mean we, we are slaves to the capital to the money and to the gods which are you know the, the richest people in the world so you know yes uh, serfs not slaves well actually I think it's more appropriate to say slaves because you were enslaved with credits. Yes, yes, but uh, in, in this feudalism, we had uh, serfs. Yes, I know, yes. but you know, the new, you know, that they are the slave owners. So, you know, we are slaves, actually. Like in the Matrix also, you know, also, you know, that the whole society was enslaved. The whole humanity was enslaved. Okay. Uh, if you want okay. to say at the end, yeah. you know, say goodbye, you can say it. <laughs>